Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're doing a side-by-side -side camera comparison between the iPhone 6S and the LG G5. Now, when it comes to taking pictures, you really have to compare four main categories as we always do. First, low light, then detail, then color reproduction, and of course, the all-important selfie. So let's start off with the low light and between these two, it's definitely getting a interesting look uh, with these. Uh, so with this, uh, you really get a brighter um, picture overall with the G5 compared to the iPhone 6, which does really keep a lower light uh, in terms of like keeping that same darkness in the photo but you typically want your photo to be brighter than normal. Now, I did tap the building on both of these, and although the iPhone did do a really good job of the asphalt being brighter, it's really not that bright on the building. So as we zoom in, both have a very similar clarity. Uh, I would say the slight edge will go to the G5 as well, if you look at this tree versus this tree. Um, overall, though, they both have a, a really decent detail, not great, but when it comes to having the better overall low light, the building you would clearly want to see is the one on the right, whereas you can see the actual color of the red and the actual color of the building uh, with the G5. So overall, when it comes to low light, the G5 will be the better one. When it comes to detail, there is uh, two other uh, main things that I was going back and forth between on here. And as we zoomed in uh, with these shots, I really saw a difference um, because when it comes to these two, neither one did a great job in detail. Now, maybe this might be that uh, I was moving a bit or something along those lines, but neither one did an amazing job at detail. On the left side for the iPhone, you can clearly see the PS3 logo is uh, definitely more defined compared to the one on the G5. However, in most of the titles to the right on the PS4 side, it seems to be a bit sharper compared to the iPhone one here. So it really went back and forth. I tried to go each game by game and see which one really was a better one. And overall, I could not uh, choose a definitive winner. So I will call this one a tie. Um, I will say that the iPhone did a much better job of uh, lighting this inside area, uh, but this is just for detail. So for detail, I will call this one a tie. Now, when it comes to color reproduction, the iPhone 6S has always been one of our top uh, competitors in this category, and this is no exception. Uh, in almost every single uh, color reproduction section for here, uh, the iPhone success does a truer job uh, compared to the LG G5. G5 really tends to go on the cooler side of color reproduction and doesn't get the exact color that you see. Uh, however, the iPhone success is a bit off, does a bit more warmer tones than is actually there, but still it's closer by far. Uh, one of the main categories was the green uh, on the Android. This is a much closer representation of the green. And on the love letter, the red and the yellow are much more uh, present as compared to uh, the LG G5, whereas they're much more cooled down. Uh, so overall, yes, you are going to get a truer look with the iPhone 6S in color reproduction. So that point will go to the iPhone 6S. And when it comes to selfies, we did two different selfies. The first one was just taking a picture uh, as is. And on these pictures, each one did uh, one thing worse than the other. Now, while both have noise in the dark area where the door is, the iPhone success was a little bit more defined here. However, in the bright area where you had a light over it, the iPhone 6S easily overexposed this shot, whereas the G5 did a much better representation on that side. Now, there is one thing you obviously have to point out, and that is the G5 is a much wider lens than the iPhone 6S, so you get a much wider shot. 
Now we did a second selfie and this time this one had the flash. So both ones have a screen flash. So we use all that on both of the phones and definitely in a mixed lighting area, you want to use the screen flash because it will do a much better job. Both photos saw huge improvements uh, on it. Although I will argue that the G5 did a bit better on its improvement. Although I wish its light was a warmer tone again compared to the uh, brighter tone. So in overall of a warmer tone, the iPhone has it, although it does cost it a bit in detail uh, by having that warmer tone. Overall between the two in terms of selfie, I will have to give it to the LG G5, just having a much wider shot. You definitely wanna use the front facing flash when you have the opportunity because it did make this picture much better on both accounts than these pictures. So overall, uh, the G5 will be the better for selfie taking. And as we round up those points, the LG G5 is better for low light. When it comes to detail, it is a tie, neither grabbing the complete picture that we're, we want to get when it comes to detail. When it comes to color reproduction, the iPhone 6S easily trumps the G5. And when it comes to selfies, the selfie will go to the LG G5, having the better overall selfie, especially with the front-facing flash. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you, as always, for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y.